Today, I'm going to explain the movie My Boss, My Hero. Released in the year 2001, the movie opens up in a bar, where a gang led by Du Shik attacks the rival gang present there. When Du Shik reaches home, his gang is seen talking about his success around the area of Myeongdong. However, they feel like Du Shik should be more educated and mature to get the sole responsibility of Myeongdong. They further add that all his younger brothers are educated and also have completed college. But there is Du Shik, who has not even considered going to school. After that, the big brother brother of the gang tells Du Shik that he will hold the position for Myeongdong till Du Shik completes his graduation. After the graduation is completed, he can come back and take over. In the next scene, we're introduced to two primary supporters of Du Shik, Song Du, a college graduate, and Ka Ri, a foolish moron. Ka Ri always gets beaten by Du Shik because of his unusual activities and appearance. Later, Du Shik tells his supporters to find him a good school to complete his graduation. Ka Ri talks with his friends and brings up the solution of a personal tuition with renowned teachers, while Song Du brings him a list of schools with proper teaching facilities. Du Shik prefers the latter, and Song Du gets him admitted in one of the private schools, disguising him as a 19-year-old. In the next scene, Du Shik gets ready for school as he wears his uniform and sets his hair. When he exits his house, he finds some of his men waiting to congratulate him for getting enrolled in a school. Du Shik gets angry when he finds out that the surprise was arranged by Ka Ri. After that, when Ka Ri, Du Shik, and Song Du are in the car, Du Shik again scolds Ka Ri for bringing him an old fashioned backpack and uniform. On his way to school, Du Shik notices the students running towards the school, and he also decides to do the same. Hence, he asks the driver to stop the car and starts following the students. However, it turns out that the students are actually running to avoid being punished by a strict math teacher, Mr. Zhou. While running, Du Shik notices a young student, Yun Ju, who drops her purse accidentally. Seeing this, he picks up her purse and continues his way towards school. Despite running his heart out, Du Shik is still late for school. He is then made to kneel down at the entrance along with other students who arrived late. Meanwhile, Miss Lee, the beautiful English teacher, walks past the students and everyone greets her with a smile. Song Du, who's keeping an eye on Du Shik, also notices Miss Lee and gets attracted to her. In the following scene, Yoon Ju and her friends get into a fight with her bully classmate led by Ji He. They are noticed by the dean and are immediately taken to the office. Ji He and her friends are released by the principal without any punishment, while Yoon Ju and her friends are kept at the office and are scolded. After some time, Du Shik is taken to his new class by Mr. Jo. He introduces himself to the class in a funny way and ends up getting a seat next to Yoon Ju. During the class, Du Shik is again punished by Mr. Jo for not doing his classwork and being engaged in some nonsense drawings. At recess, Du Shik comes across the bully group of the class who beat and tease him. However, he acts innocent and absorbs everything as he wants to keep his identity a secret. We can also see a middle-aged guy carrying a handy cam and recording whatever's going on in the school premises. After school, Du Shik tries to buy a packet of cigarettes, but gets chased away by the shop owner as he's asking for the cigarettes while wearing a school uniform. In the following scene, Ka Ri makes fun of Song Do while he's practicing sword fighting. After the practice, Song Do receives a call from Du Shik who asks him to bring him some food for lunch. Song Do packs some food and immediately hurries to the school. There, he meets Miss Lee and introduces himself as Du Shik's uncle. Later in the classroom, while Du Shik is having his lunch, his classmates are surprised to see the varieties of food. At the same time, Song Do takes Miss Lee out for a date. He also gives her a card, asking her to call him whenever she faces any trouble. The next day, while Du Shik is about to leave for school, Song Do stops him and asks him to give a gift to his English teacher, Miss Lee. At school, Du Shik enters the staff room and quietly places the gift on Miss Lee's table. After Du Shik leaves, Miss Lee opens the gift and finds a set of bikini inside. In order to collect some funds into the urology department, the dean of the school urges the male students to get their circumcision done. Later, the students can be seen walking awkwardly after the treatment. While returning home from school, one of the members from a rival gang recognizes Du Shik in school uniform and informs his leader about it. In the following scene, the dean is standing in front of the class and punishing the students who are late to 
pay their monthly fee. At the same time, Mr. Joe enters the class and urges his students to take a seat, compelling the dean to leave. Later that day, Miss Lee orders Ji He to leave the class after she catches her passing notes. Instead of leaving, Ji He insults Miss Lee by uttering inappropriate words. In fact, Ji He has a habit of being rude with everyone due to her wealthy and influential parents. However, Miss Lee is having none of it and she slaps Ji He in front of the whole class. Embarrassed, Ji He runs towards the washroom and informs her mother about the incident. In no time, Ji He's mother arrives at the school and assaults Miss Lee for slapping her innocent daughter. The dean stands on the parent's side, while Mr. Joe supports Miss Lee. Because of his behavior with Ji He's mother, Mr. Joe is called to the principal's office, where he's insulted and threatened to be fired from the job. After this, Mr. Joe returns to the class and tries to control the students. Meanwhile, one of the students laughs at his serious words and gets punished. Right then, the leader of the bully group cusses Mr. Joe out and pushes him harshly while he tries to punish him. Looking at this, Du Shik gets enraged and attacks the bully for misbehaving with the teacher. After that, all the students start respecting Du Shik as they are scared of him. Later at night, Du Shik treats the bully to some food and drinks and suggests him to respect the teachers as their father figures. He also saves him from getting beaten by his rival group. The next day, the corrupt dean asks Mr. Joe to increase Ji He's grades. Turns out that Ji He's wealthy parents are paying a huge amount of money for the sake of good grades, which can get their daughter a scholarship. However, Mr. Joe refuses to change the grades and mentions that if he does so, the deserving students like Yoon Ju will be deprived of the scholarship. On the other hand, the principal calls Miss Lee for a private meeting and makes fun of her students' grades. He also tries to get close to her by running his hands inappropriately through her neck and chest. Feeling uncomfortable, Miss Lee exits the room. On her way out, she bumps into Du Shik. After some time, Mr. Joe calls Yoon Ju into his office and suggests she study hard to get the scholarship. It seems like he unwillingly changed the grades of Ji He, making Yoon Ju ineligible for the available scholarship. After school, Yoon Ju and Du Shik walk together on their way back home. While they're walking, Yoon Ju mentions that she can no longer afford to go to college. Later, she asks Du Shik to buy her a drink, and the duo enters a nearby restaurant. Surprisingly, when they enter inside, they find Miss Lee and Song Du enjoying each other's company. Du Shik and Yoon Ju also join them and have fun. All of them enjoy the night by drinking and singing karaoke to different songs. In the next scene, we see Du Shik enjoying his time with Song Du and Ka Ri at their usual meeting place. Meanwhile, a group of beautiful girls enter the room to accompany them for the night. But, to Du Shik's surprise, one of the girls appears to be Yoon Ju. After Yoon Ju knows about Du Shik's reality, she assumes that he's from a rich family and asks him to lend some money for her school fee. Du Shik inquires about why she's willing to take the degrading job as a profession. Crying, Yoon Ju replies that she's desperate to attend the school and can go any lengths to pay her tuition fee. Hearing this, Du Shik becomes sad and tries to console Yoon Ju. But she leaves, saying that he'll never understand her situation. Following this, Du Shik asks Song Du to investigate the school and find out about why the school is collecting more money from the students. The next day, after Du Shik's true identity is revealed to Yoon Ju, the interaction between them gets awkward. Meanwhile, one of Yoon Ju's friends comes to the class and informs them about Mr. Joe's resignation. Even though Mr. Joe frequently scolded and beat his students, all of them knew that he was a caring teacher. During his last lesson, everyone in the class can be seen in tears. After the class, Mr. Joe quietly gathers his belongings and leaves the staff room. At the same time, the dean notices Yoon Ju alone inside the computer lab, but does not give her proper attention. In the next scene, we see Song Du reporting to Du Shik about his findings of the school. He says that despite being just a principal of the school, he has malls, golf courses, and luxurious cars under his belt. He also discloses that the principal has some connection with their rival gang. Afterwards, the dean comes across a post at the Department of Education site stating about the irregularities in grades and extra monetary charges being taken by the school. Enraged, the principal asks the dean about who could have leaked the information about the school. The dean points out that the wordings used in the post seem to be of a student and immediately remembers Yoon Ju sitting in the computer lab the day before. Angry, the principal heads towards Yoon Ju's class and starts attacking her with continuous slaps and punches. He beats her to 
until she bleeds and falls on the floor, unconscious. Later, Du Shik carries Yunju on his back and takes her to the hospital. In the next scene, the students and some teachers are protesting to bring Yunju back. While all this is happening, Du Shik remains inside the classroom and refuses to take part in the protest. It seems like he doesn't want to take any chances of ruining his graduation. Later at night, Du Shik discusses his alternatives with Song Du and about the ways they can save the school. Song Du suggests he remain quiet until graduation, but Du Shik feels that it's a bad choice. Sad, Du Shik visits Yoon Ju at the hospital. Yoon Ju hugs him and cries on his shoulders. Here, we can clearly see that both feel for each other. The next day, on his way to school, Du Shik notices the entrance blocked by the protesting group. Later, the principal of the school arrives there, escorted by the rival gang members. When Mr. Jo tries to attack the principal, he is assaulted by the gang members. Similarly, Miss Lee and other students are also mistreated by the gang members. Du Shik cannot withstand this, so he calls his gang members to arrive there as soon as possible. On the other hand, we see the same guy holding a handy cam and recording everything around him. In the next scene, Du Shik's gang members arrive there and start fighting with the rival gang. After the rival gang is defeated, the gates of the school are opened and the group now protest for the principal to leave the school. As they are protesting, more members from the rival gang appear there and start fighting. After some time, both of the gangs separate and Du Shik challenges the leader from the rival group to fight one-on-one. -on -one. After the fight between the leaders ends in a draw, they decide to continue fighting until one of the groups win. The two rival groups go hammer and tongs until the police arrive and arrest them. At last, the handycam guy slips his recording tape into a news reporter's pocket. In the last scene, Du Shik presents his graduation certificate to his senior. To his dismay, the senior informs him that the gang members are still objecting to his qualification. Hence, he has to now attend college. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.